Chit, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Once again, I bring you back another amazing career move for you guys, okay? For those of you guys that are learning how to become web developers and learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you're wondering, man, is there any jobs that I can take now while I'm still learning and mastering something like JavaScript or even the back end? or even the whole web development ecosystem. What are my options? I already brought to you guys HTML email developers, okay? And people were bugging out, They're like, Joe, there's no way guys make $135,000, you know, just doing, you know, HTML emails. There's no way, you know, there's guys that probably make 30,000. Guys, <laughs> the numbers are there, the emails are there, the proof is there, okay? The thing is that if you don't know how to get those type of jobs and you don't know where to apply and you don't know where exactly is those type of companies that need those type of services, then you're not going to get hired. But now I brought you something else. HTML5 developer. What the hell is that? You're probably thinking, okay, HTML5, we know what HTML5 is. We know what CSS3 is. And we know that there's JavaScript. A lot of times when you see those titles, HTML5 developers, what they really want is somebody who is proficient in making banners. Okay, you guys have seen those commercials when you go to like IGN.com or you go to New York Times.com, etc. And there's like display banners on the side and there's like pretty animations where it's like the text slides in and then an image shows up or like let's say a new BMW car comes out and then now you see the little car zooming in and this and that. All of that is done through HTML5 with CSS and a little bit of JavaScript, okay? Now, you're wondering, okay, so it's like some animations and yeah, Joe, we kind of know people do animation. Yeah, but what you don't know is that this is basically a subsection of what web development is, then what animations is, and then another small niche that is display banners html5 developers so how much can you make with this joe well look it up <laughs> do your googles nah i'm gonna tell you how much you can make all right so starting is like sixty thousand dollars okay there's a lot of companies that pay you by the hour which to be honest with you i'd rather do that especially when you're doing this type of job uh get paid by the hour instead of salary because uh, sometimes it takes long and you know the client might constantly be telling you hey could you change this could you fix that could you do this and that cool pay me by the hour we could fix it as many times as you want all right but they usually pay pretty well you know I've seen um, things like 44 uh, 60 dollars an hour I've seen one that was at 68 dollars an hour so the pay is pretty good okay now what type of companies you will be working with this is brands right you will be working with brands you either be working directly with a brand for let's say example you got mercedes-benz bmw or uh, nike you know adidas you know like major brands will hire you you could do it that way or you could get hired through a digital agency who has a whole bunch of clients under their belt so you could work with a digital agency who has direct contact with them and they pay you okay of course they're probably paying you know fifty sixty dollars an hour but they charging directly to the companies like a hundred and twenty dollars an hour or even more sometimes I've seen crazy numbers where you know you work at a digital agency and you get getting pay a bullshit salary or you're getting paid like a it's not bullshit but just a small amount of what the owner is really charging this major companies okay now it's all about selling your services and it's all about selling a dream to the people and that's what digital agencies do right they be like hey man we work with coca-cola we work for nike you know we did great jobs for them look how amazing their their sales are looking right now and then the next thing they do is they come in and literally hit them in the back of the neck okay a lot of you guys are working some bullshit job hey you're working for fourteen thousand hours if you could take your ass to sixty hey it's a blessing i know because i was there okay now a lot of you guys you're probably 
practicing and trying to get yourself to become a front end engineer or a back end developer or a full stack, but you're broke at home. Let's be honest. You're, you're studying all these things and you're being broke at home right now. You don't have no money. So why not learn something like this, right? Get that job, put that on your resume, and then keep it moving. You get what I'm saying? Now, I have a couple of resources here for you guys to check out. I have one, which is, I believe it's called uh, Bannerstack, uh, no, Bannersnack.com. Okay, so Bannersnack.com has a blog that all they do is talk about display ads. Okay, and it's cool because using this display ads is like you're using animation, you're using code, you're using your creativity, like you're using so many parts of your brain, you know, also to marketing, like you're using a lot of parts of your brain to create amazing banners, right? And things that's gonna catch people's attention. So it's not just like, oh, I'm just a code monkey, I'm just coding all day and, and that's it, don't speak to nobody. If you are a type of person who is creative, right? You will enjoy this, trust me. I've done this before, I did like little freelance gigs here and there, you know? I haven't taken it uh, full, as far as like me being a full developer for uh, HTML5 developer, I haven't done it, right? I have friends who have done it. I've seen a lot of posts online for different positions for it. Um, and I've done it a few times in a, a couple of companies that I've worked for, but it wasn't my title. It's more of like, okay, I've done it because the company needed me to do it, but it wasn't like my full-time job. It's very interesting, guys. I think it's one of those things where you're like, man, how much money can somebody get in this, right? So start in $50,000, $60,000. Now, the higher you go and the better company that you work for, the more money that you're gonna make, of course. Now, I've seen posts where it's $120,000, three, four years experience doing display ads. Guys, I'm talking about this thing is just basics. This is not, like nothing crazy, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, and the reason why I'm saying like, this is not nothing crazy because all you need is HTML, CSS, right? And then from there, the basics of JavaScript. When I'm telling you the basics, basics, like I ain't talking about you gotta learn algorithms. I ain't talking about you gotta come in here and know how to freaking sort arrays. Like just the basics, how to work with the DOM. Hey, put a class on this. Hey, remove a class from this. Hey, delay this. Hey. Put this after the delay. That's it. We're not we're not asking you to do much, right? Now, a lot of you guys already have those skills. So why not apply to those jobs, man? And one of the main reasons too, I also say too, uh, like you, you don't even need that much experience in this. There's a, a interview somebody did on front end happy hour. So the guys that they work at, at Netflix. Uh, they basically work for Netflix and what they do is they set up a system to create display ads using native web components, not using uh, React, not using uh, any of the other uh, frameworks out there. It's raw JavaScript, what they decided to do, right? But if you've done Polymer before, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So raw web components. So they've created display ads that change according to the sizes that you put in and also too if they want to do a change to them they don't have to go change 200 different display ads they go and change it on one and all of the effects goes to every single one of them i'm gonna put it in the description too so you guys could get into it um in the future i will be making a course for this okay hopefully in um the next month I'm probably gonna do that. Currently, right now, I'm working on the MySQL course. Currently, I'm working on the MySQL course, and then from there, I'm also working on this e-commerce website that we're setting up. So right now, we're like building up to the e-commerce website, okay? So we're doing everything that we need to do. Um, but guys, listen, man, HTML5 developers, right? Somebody right now is commenting, this doesn't exist, this is not real, guys. When you work with brands, you know what I'm talking about. 